So, so that's one memory storage mechanism, but crucial to the ability to imprint those memories in your brain is the ability to change the strength of connection between one neuron and another, that synaptic connection between them. So synaptic weight update is a massive field of neuroscience and neuromorphic computing as well. So th there are two poles to that uh, on that spectrum. One, in, okay, so in, more in the language of machine learning, we would talk about supervised and unsupervised learning. Mm -hmm. And when I'm trying to tie that down to neuromorphic computing, I will use a definition of supervised learning, which basically means the external user, the person who's controlling this hardware, has some knob that they can tune to change each of the synaptic weights, depending on whether or not the network's doing what you want it to do. Whereas what I mean in this conversation when I say unsupervised learning is that those synaptic weights are are dynamically changing in your network based on nothing that the user is doing, nothing that there's no wire from the outside going into any of those synapses. The network itself is reconfiguring those synaptic weights based on physical properties that you've built into the devices. So if, if the synapse receives a pulse from here and that causes the neuron to spike, some circuit built in there with no help from me or anybody else adjust the weight in a way that makes it more likely to um, store the useful information and excite the useful network patterns and makes it less likely that random noise, useless communication events will have an important uh, effect on the network activity. So there's memory encoded in the weights, uh, the synaptic weights. Yeah.